Growing up, we all have a dream of becoming an Olympian, putting all our effort into a sport we believe that will take us there. As children, we are told all dreams are possible. If you believe in yourself and give 110% of your effort, as a kid, getting to the Olympics seems like a doable task. If you put in hours of effort and continuously practice and persist, yet few make it. We grew up on the same team as others, getting coached by the same coaches and training the same as our teammates. Yet there is this one teammate who is inherently better for no reason. She's stronger. She's able to withstand extra reps, extra sets, and no rest days and still have fuel for more. She is faster than we can ever hope to be and seems to build muscle double the speed any other teammate can build. This girl is unstoppable and seems to put in no extra work. Why is this? She has a mutation that allows for the overproduction of ACTN3 protein, which is making her unbelievably strong and fast. Alpha actinine 3 is a protein in skeletal muscles that is encoded by the ACTN3 gene. And it seems to be involved with fast twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch muscle fibers are basically what they sound like. They are muscle cells that have quick contraction times and give you bursts of force. They are the muscle cells that let you sprint really fast. Fast twitch fibers are usually full of proteins that break down the long sugar storing molecule called glycogen turning into it into glucose and other energy-packed compounds that your muscle needs to work. Researchers believe alpha-actinine-3 helps with a number of things, like making and stabilizing fast-twitch fibers and breaking down glycogen. So since this ACTN3 protein is present in skeletal muscles, why are few people this strong and fast? Well, lots of people besides sprinters and weightlifters have a loss of function mutation in the ACTN3 gene, so they don't have working alpha actinine 3 proteins. And the loss of function mutation of R577X, a T at position 557, causes a stop codon. Everyone has this gene, but most people have a loss of function mutation and the ACTN3 gene, so they do not have working alpha actinine 3 proteins. Some top-notch sprinters and weightlifters have at least one functional copy of this gene, which means they can make the proteins that might help with seemingly superhuman burst of power and speed. This overproduction of ACTN3 protein in sprinters and, and weightlifters is considered a mutation. However, this mutation has no negative consequences and only positive. Blessed are the individuals with this mutation as they will probably end up on the Olympic podium. Against these individuals, an ordinary person without the ACTN3 protein gene would not stand a chance. For now, we can feel better about ourselves and justify why we did not make it to the Olympics because of uh, this lack of gene. And we can be in awe of the athletes with this gene, for we can watch them do flips, run fast, and lift heavy things. Individuals with ACTN3 gene is not only associated with enhanced improvement in strength and speed, but also enhanced post-exercise recovery, training adaptation, and exercise-associated injuries. Focusing on sporting injuries, the studies found that the X allele increased the risk of ankle injuries and general sporting injury. Again, this information could guide training interventions. In this case, X allele carriers might undertake increased general strengthening exercises and neuromuscular training targeting injury risk reduction. Finally, maximizing the training response is crucial, both to elite athletes looking to improve by fractions of a second and to beginners looking to to decrease their risk of disease 
Increasingly, there's evidence that polymorphisms, including actn 3 r 577 x can impact this adaptive process. This information is important, not just because it illustrates the wide-ranging impact single nucleotide polymorphism can have, but also because it represents an opportunity to personalize and enhance training guidelines. Nevertheless, the use of genetic information represents an opportunity to enhance training prescription and outcomes and exercisers of all abilities.